you know, that's something that hasn't been the case in the past games, in the past couple games, and you know, it's something we just got to remember the support is coming out hungry and uh, playing with energy, especially at halftime. Yeah, I can't have that role in mental errors and stuff like that, but, you know, we, we know what we need to work on, and it wasn't anything new, it was just, you know, we had some, you know, misassignments. We need to the shot, was going to come back, and it was felt good to get that perimeter shooting back for the first time, like, since Kentucky. Yeah, it felt great, you know, a couple shots went down, um, you know, so I'm glad the shots went down in this game. You guys, the you play in the first half, you think part of the left down is just a little bit of nature, you guys are going to die. Love of intensity and focus for a while. So we're playing too much fun with it. That's kind of human nature's going to start seeing some of that. That's what happened there. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think so. I don't know. I think that's a, that's a good basketball team. They've got talent. Um, and I think we need to continue to work on staying hungry and staying active defensively, especially, and not having those letdowns. And, it, it's across the board. It starts with me, um, and you know I, I know everybody on the team takes you know the, the defensive end personally, and, and we take a lot of accountability with that. So you know they came out and shot like 90% from the field from, for like the first you know 10 or so minutes of half. That's unacceptable. And you know we were we built a big lead in the first half, but going forward we uh, we got to tighten that up. How cool was it to see Jalen doing good against the Oh, it was great. We're super happy for Jay Witt. Um, we know how talented of a guy he is. He's a tremendous player, and he played really hard tonight. Were some of those fouls kind of frustrating uh, tonight? Yeah, you know, fouls are always frustrating. Um, but you know, I don't, I don't speak to, on officiating. I'm just happy we got the win. Cormac, uh, you mentioned obviously Jalen Williams' performance. Did he, I guess, at any point, you know, between the last couple games, mention the fact that he was obviously going against the uh, home team? No, I mean he didn't have to mention it, and you know he plays really hard every night, and he's a super talented guy, and so I'm really happy for him. We're all really happy for him that he was able to, you know, go out there and have a great game. Yeah, sure. Uh, man, I guess, you know, just for you guys, you know, obviously going up against uh, Boss Cause, I imagine you haven't, you know, studied them, you know, too, too much, but I guess from what you're kind of used to seeing from them and maybe whatever bits and pieces you've caught, like what kind of sticks out to you about, uh, about that team? Yeah, I mean, we we haven't, uh, obviously our eyes have been focused on Louisville, so we'll, we'll kind of handle BC and our preparation for them starting tomorrow. But it's a league game, it's a road game, and so obviously we know what to expect. That's uh, Those are the games that are always hard to, to win, and so we're, we're ready for a battle, and um, you know, we're looking for a battle. Yeah. For Mac, obviously some goals in the second half, but another another double-digit win for you guys. You guys have seemed to, to kind of settle into those uh, through this portion. What have you noticed about that? What does that say about this team? Yeah, I mean, I think we're, we were really proud of the way we bounced back. Um, having a, having lulls happens. It's, you know, it does happen. It's, it's basketball. It's a long season. It's a league opponent. These guys are good. And sometimes you, you kind of let your foot off and, uh, the, the key is that we bounce back and we were able to kind of push the lead back out and close out the game at home.